going to culinary school versus not going to culinary school, it's a no-brainer for me. The more education you can get in a shorter period of time really sets you on the right path. You learn what it, it usually takes years to learn in the trade. You can learn what it takes years to, to learn in a day-to-day -day job in a matter of months. We at a culinary institute gave me a lot of experience in learning basics and learning tools I needed to start my career and to move forward. I think the facility here is state of the art. You know, it's cutting edge and has a lot of really great equipment. And this place is just beautiful. I think it gives students a, a good place to learn. And There's always been changes, improvements in the curriculum, improvements in the physical plant, but what has been really a constant is the quality people that are on site teaching and really care about providing people with a sound foundation that they can then go on and really learn more. We are a two-year program here at LCI, compressed into 16 months. Students go to school Monday through Thursday. On Friday, students are allowed to come in and work on areas that they may be having trouble in. Once you get out, you do have an associate's degree, an AOS degree in culinary arts with a concentration of either savory arts or pastry arts. The LCI had the program that, that I needed awesome school, gave me the fundamentals that I needed to, to succeed in this industry. Great teachers, great staff. All students start in sanitation. We stress them the importance of handling food properly. Then they go into introduction kitchen, which basically gives them the history of food to start with. We go over their cuts and cooking methods and get into the use of herbs and pairing herbs with certain foods. Once that has happened, then the student will be able to work on their cuts with instructor direction and go into stocks and sauces. Once they go through stocks and sauces, they go into Kitchen Lab 2, which is the first time that they get to put their hands actually on the food and demonstrate to the instructor what they've learned so far since they've started. And then they go into the various kitchen labs where, as a class, they prepare the lunch meal for the other students. Each kitchen lab will become progressively harder until they get to Kitchen Lab 6, which is where the students will take turns being executive chef of the day, where they have to run the kitchen and handle any problems that arise, just like a, an executive chef would have to do in a normal restaurant situation. In between the kitchen labs, they're in various classes from meat fabrication to vegetables to charcuterie making, pâtés, sausages, and various terrines. And then they end up in bake shop where they'll learn how to prepare cakes, breads, and various frozen desserts and custards. They'll have some of their gen ed courses for their associate's degree in between all of the different semesters. But then near their last semester they're with us, they will take either a culinary end or savory end, or they'll take the baking and pastry end. And what that is, is it's six weeks of intensive pastry training, or six weeks of intensive savory training, that they get to choose which way they would like to go. The associate class right now takes the general education courses, which consist of nutrition, a psychology, mathematics, and English. They complete those courses along with their other coursework, whether it be a savory coursework, i.e. American regional cuisine, or international cuisine, or Cajun Creole cuisine, or if they go to the bake shop side, they take advanced pastries and breads, and they go that route. Lunch is always experienced here at LCI, it's great. The students, depending on the level of kitchen laboratory that they're in, they prepare either a buffet line or they have, uh, have a la carte service. A la carte service meaning that they take orders from the students or the faculty, and they put those orders in, and they're served from the back of the house. That's one thing that I brag about to all my friends who are, you know, in regular colleges and stuff like that. Uh, they always ask me about what I eat every day and I'm like, I get a five course lunch every day and then they, they just get really jealous. A cook is someone who comes to work, he works on a line. Could be a line cook, could be a prep cook, could be a station cook. A chef is someone that this is their passion. They're running the kitchen. They are in charge. They may not be running the kitchen completely, but they're in charge of a part of the kitchen. It is their responsibility. To me, a chef is someone who actually takes a lot of pride in the end product. There's different levels of chefs. There are station chefs that are responsible for just one particular station. And then there are sous chefs that are actually responsible for the production in the kitchen where they answer to the executive chef. And the executive chef is responsible for all aspects of the kitchen, from management all the way down to making sure that the garbage cans are clean at the end of the night. 
A chef is a manager. A chef has you know, responsibilities from the time he wakes up in the morning until the time he goes to sleep. A chef is not only worrying about how good the food cooks, but how fresh it is, how his purveyors are treating him, whether everything is coming in as he had requested, basically keeping track of his labor costs, his food costs, and the overall perception of his menu, which is critical. They're not learning just to cook here. What they're learning to do is also run a business and manage people. So to just cook recipes, you wouldn't have to come to this school. But if you want to understand how to be a leader in the industry, we'll give you those tools to be a leader. The training I got here brought me to the level of going from a dishwasher when I started here and a salad guy to running a restaurant, just from your knife skills to factoring food costs, which is huge. You know, when you get into an executive chef position, you have to learn how to budget. You have to learn how to use money. And those are the things that no one teaches you other than here. Well, I researched quite a few uh, schools, and they were the ones that seemed to have the most comprehensive program and uh, attention for each student. Like the, uh, the student to teacher ratio is a lot lower than a lot of the others I've seen. I mean, now that I've been here for a little while, I know that you get a lot of personal attention from all the faculty. I mean, we all know each other by name, and, you know, we, uh, we like to have a good time, too. Learning in Louisiana when it comes to food, it's just, there's so many different cultures and influences in the food here. And there's so much that Louisiana has to offer that once you have Louisiana Culinary Institute on your resume, you know, saying that you know how to cook Louisiana style food, not only that, you know, classic French styles and other influences, once you have that on your resume, you can go anywhere. Louisiana is one of the only places where you're gonna have a really unique cuisine in this country. Uh, there are some other regional cuisines, but not to the degree of where you have Cajun and Creole food, and that's going to provide you with uh, a unique culinary education that other schools wouldn't touch on. Just from, you know, hearing the instructors talk about, you know, where they used to work or certain situations that they were in that's not in the textbook. They all come from different areas and different backgrounds and they all come from different jobs and you know some of them have worked fine dining and then there's some who have worked you know catering so you're getting you're getting every aspect of the food industry in one building every day we learn something new whether it's from our fellow students or the instructors not only are you learning from the professional, you know, the head chef of the class, but you're also learning from the person that's sitting right next to you, telling you about, you know, what they did at the bakery. And we have people here that's been in the restaurant business for years and decided to come back to school. We have young people that's straight out of school, but I learned so much from because what their families taught them or trading secrets, you never really tried to do this. And I mean, everyone at the school was really nice and uh, I, it just felt welcome. It kind of felt like home. We have a charcuterie class where we have a couple of smokers. We produce sausage and different types of smoke products. And we also have a Cajun microwave. It's similar to an oven, but it heats from the top. And it's used for the couchon delays, for roasting whole pig. We have an herb garden in the back, and we're growing uh, assorted vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, different kinds of peppers. We'll have all different types of restaurant owners come in once or twice a week, always looking for someone to help out in any area in the kitchen. And we recommend that they go ahead and work at one of those jobs in any of those positions. It's gonna help because class is Monday through Thursday. We leave Friday, Saturday, and Sunday open for the opportunity to go ahead and learn everything that you're being taught here, apply it to your job. We'll help you with the resume process. We'll help you with the application process. We'll help you get those letters of recommendation. I will contact the different types of restaurants that you're into, anywhere across the state, anywhere across the world. My ultimate goal is to get you a career. I think that uh, Louisiana Culinary Institute really prepares their students very well for a real world environment. I wouldn't mind waking up every day and doing this for the rest of my life because it makes me happy and it, you want to do something that you excel in and you want to do something that you're proud to grow in and that you're proud to like exploring. So, I mean, with food, everybody's got to eat. So, you know, the possibilities are endless.